It's more important than ever to get an influenza vaccination. You know, people can get both influenza and COVID at the same time. And so that's why it's more important than ever to make sure you get your influenza vaccination. One, if you get one of the infections, it can put you in dire risk of having complications from the other. And secondly, as you've heard across the country, our healthcare resources are really strained and people getting uh, bad influenza and bad and or bad COVID can really put a great deal of discomfort and stress on our healthcare system, make it harder for us to care for those in need. Well, in general, every, anyone over the age of six months should uh, get the influenza vaccination, including healthy adults. Um, particularly important for those who are at high risk of complications with influenza and those who live with or care for those at high risk for influenza. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, first, it's important to note that influenza and COVID both have very similar symptoms. So don't be surprised if, if you have any upper respiratory symptoms that you get checked for both COVID and influenza this time of year. Regarding the timing of an influenza vaccination, if you're getting a COVID vaccine, you can get an influenza vaccination at the exact same time, either in both arms or one inch apart from each other in the same arm. Now, if you have been diagnosed with COVID and you're asymptomatic, generally we recommend that you follow the isolation protocols, meaning that if you know you have COVID but are feeling fine, um, 10 days after you've been diagnosed, and to make sure you haven't had any fever for 48 hours. If you do have active COVID and you're symptomatic, you should check with your physician before getting the, in, the immunization. That's a great question. Yeah, so the typical side effects from influenza vaccination are redness and tenderness at the site of the injection, and also body aches, headaches, fevers, and chills. It's important to note that those symptoms usually happen within 72 hours of the shot. So if you have any thing like a fever after 72 hours, you should speak to your physician about it because probably not influenza. Now, tie in with COVID, the influenza vaccination does not cause any upper respiratory symptoms like shortness of breath or a cough. So if you do have any cough or shortness of breath after you get your influenza vaccination, or if you have fevers after 72 hours, you should definitely contact your physician because you may have something else like COVID instead of a side effect from the immunization. And I'd just like to add that at Dedicated, uh, we are um, here for seniors and our population. We make health care um, easier by providing affordable and accessible care um, with same day appointments, next day appointments. We provide um, door to doctor uh, transportation when our, when our patients need it. And we have many of the most common medications that seniors use in our own pharmacies and our clinics. We're open for new patients and we'd love to see and become the doctors of each and every one of you.